Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and this is a continuation of the series where I'm going through my top five vintage collection card backs for each film. So first of all I did Star Wars or A New Hope and now I'm on to The Empire Strikes Back. So if you do happen to enjoy the series don't forget to drop a like down below and we're going to get straight onto this but first of all I'm just going to give you the rules. So I'm not including any figures from the vintage original trilogy collection or the vintage saga collection so unfortunately the Bosk figure and card back does not come into the running whatsoever. This is purely VC carded figures and I'm not even including the foil bounty hunters that came in that two pack. This is just the standard line from VC001 to whatever the current number we're at at the moment which is about VC196 or something like that. So it's any figure that came out on an Empire Strikes Back card within those numbers and let's get straight on to this. So quick honourable mention because I couldn't pick five I had to pick one more and the first one, it's an honourable mention, it's not in the top five, it is the Attack Commander. I absolutely love this card back. It is the only card back in this selection that doesn't have the character on the card back. It is a picture of his vehicle, essentially. We have the awesome picture there of the Battle of Hoth with the Attacks taking out a snow speeder just there above the uh, Attack Commander's head. Some people like to think this is General Veers, but I think it is pretty much just a generic Attack Commander, which means that we do still need a General Veers, in my opinion, in the vintage collection. Now please bear in mind that this is my selection and of course you'll probably have your own opinions and I am judging this based on pretty much the card back alone. The figure doesn't really come into it in this. This is just you know the card art and how I like the look of it. Of course the figure does come into play in terms of whether it pops off the card, whether it looks cool, but in terms of like articulation and things like that I'm not really too bothered. So it's just how the figure looks on the card back. So straight into fifth place we have the brand new Princess Leia I'm joking, I'm joking, this is absolute gash. I cannot believe they used that image for this card back. What were they thinking? The amount of time that we waited for a Princess Leia Bespin Escape and there were so many more images that they could have used and they ended up with this one. So this one would probably be my least favourite, but that's just a joke. We're going to get onto the real fifth spot right now. All right, so in fifth place, and this is the real fifth place this time, we have the Rebel Soldier Hoth. I love this card back. There he is, looking pretty awesome. I love the colour of the lane pill and everything, and he does really pop off that card. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about this card is the size of the bubble. Although he does have a lot of accessories in there, so it can be kind of excused with this one. But this was one of the figures in the first wave of the Vintage Collection when it came back, back in 2018, and it's VC120. Definitely the best figure of the wave, an army builder to boot. And I just love the car back straight from the film. Looks awesome. And the figure's not bad either. In fourth place, we have the Empire Strikes Back Stormtrooper. And the reason I love this one, there's two reasons really. One, because the image that they've chosen inside that carbon freezing chamber is absolutely amazing. I love the colours that are reflecting off onto the Stormtrooper. And also because the other Stormtrooper that we have in the line is should really be on a Star Wars card, in my opinion. I've no idea why they put it on a Empire Strikes Back card and a Return of the Jedi card when really that image should be on a Star Wars card. Also, the figure looks great on that red name pill. Absolutely lovely. And yeah, this came in the set for the carbon freezing chamber, which let's face it, was a bit of a dodgy play set, but the card back that came with it sold it for me. Absolutely brilliant. Love this one. He is VC171, so quite a new figure. But man, you can't moan at that car back. It's absolutely beautiful. In third place is Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. Now, this is where it's getting really, really difficult to split the top three. But this one is a great car back. I recently reviewed this figure because he has been reissued this year. But this is the original car back. You can tell because it's unpunched there. But I've always loved this car back. Of course, it was a car back from back in the Kenner days that they've just carried on forward into the modern line. But it's such a good car back. The figure looks great on there. I love the fact that the Torn Torn's on there really really nice he is vc95 this particular one's quite expensive on the secondary market now so it's probably good that he has been re-released for people that couldn't get hold of the figure but look at the car back it's an absolute classic from the empire strikes back vc95 awesome straight into second place we have luke skywalker dagger by landing now i absolutely love this car back couple of reasons why i mean it's just a great image straight from the film there as he's landed in dagobah and of course, it's not one from the original Kenner line. So it is something that Hasbro have put together, which is always quite nice when they actually pick a decent image, you know, with the Bespin layer. Essentially, that Bespin layer, I will go back to it. You know, that one could have been number one in my list had they picked the right image. And I will try and find the image that I think that they should have used and stick it on the screen for you now. If that figure had that card back image, then that one would have been number one for me, I think. But Luke Skywalker, Dagobah Landing in second place. He is VC44. 
Again, another figure that's pretty rare on the secondary market, pretty expensive this one. Unpunched example here, which is lovely. And as I say, it's just it's just a great figure, a great card back. And I think this one actually came top in my Luke Skywalker list. So uh, yeah, my top top figures and card backs for my Luke for all the Luke Skywalkers in the vintage collection. I think he actually won it. So that shows you how highly I think of this one, and it is very difficult not to award this one first place. But there is only one that can be in first place, and for me, on the Empire Strikes Back cards, it is Princess Leia in her Bespin outfit. I absolutely love this image. It's a great, great image. And of course, it is one of those that has been taken from the Kenner line. So you can actually get the original vintage figure with that card back. But what I love about this one is that it also came on a alternative card back, which is something that I collect in the vintage figures. So this is my vintage one. And I would like to see Hasbro, if they were to ever re-release this figure, to put it on this card back. Um, just to mix it up a little bit. But there you go. There's my alternative one. I'm not really interested in getting this one in the original line because I collect the alternatives, but this one here is an absolutely fantastic card. She looks great. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, of course, looking amazing. And she is VC111. Again, another one that is quite expensive on the secondary market. The Empire Strikes Back cards seem to be quite expensive on the secondary market, especially the ones that were later in the line, like VC111. So she might set you back a little bit. So it would be quite nice if they re-released this with the updated photo reel on there because the, the paint isn't too great. That's what lets the figure down. But in terms of the card back, just superb. And as I mentioned, I do like a Princess Leia card back and she wins it for me on the Empire Strikes Back cards. Don't forget to let me know your top five in the comment section below or maybe just your top one. What's your most favorite vintage collection Empire Strikes Back card back? For me, it's Princess Leia in a Bespin outfit. Absolutely lovely card back. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.